Hey there, young scientists. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of states of matter. Everything around us is made up of matter, whether it's the chair you're sitting on or the air you breathe. And guess what? Matter can change states. We're talking solids, liquids, gases, the whole shebang. We're going to explore these transformations with 10 super fun and unique science experiments that you can try at home. These experiments are not only cool to watch, but they'll also teach you about the science behind them. We'll learn about how temperature affects matter, how different states interact, and how some changes are reversible while others are not. Get ready to unleash your inner scientist because things are about to get seriously experimental. So put on your thinking caps, grab your safety goggles, and let's get started. For our first experiment, we're going to see how we can inflate a balloon without ever putting our mouths on it. It's all about the power of gas expansion. We're going to use a chemical reaction to create a gas that will inflate our balloon. First, we'll need some vinegar in a bottle. Now, carefully pour some baking soda into a balloon. Next, stretch the balloon over the mouth of the bottle, making sure none of the baking soda falls in yet. Lift the balloon so the baking soda drops into the vinegar. The balloon will start to inflate right before your eyes. That's because the baking soda and vinegar react to create carbon dioxide gas. This experiment shows how a solid, baking soda, and a liquid, vinegar, can create a gas, carbon dioxide. Have you ever heard of something that can act like both a solid and a liquid? Meet oobleck, a substance that breaks the rules. Just mix cornstarch and water. It becomes thick and gooey. Punch it, it feels solid. Let your hand rest, it sinks like a liquid. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid. Apply force, it acts solid. Relax, it flows like liquid. Experiment with squeezing and rolling it. Ever wondered why ice melts faster on some surfaces? Let's find out with a melting race. Place ice cubes on wood, metal, plastic, and fabric. Start your timer and observe. Metal melts ice faster than wood. Different materials conduct heat at different rates. Get ready to witness the magic of supercooling as we instantly freeze water. It sounds impossible, but trust me, it's science. For this experiment, you'll need a bottle of purified water and a freezer. Place the sealed bottle of water in the freezer for about two to three hours. Carefully remove the supercooled water from the freezer. Now, for the grand finale. Give the bottle a good whack on a table or countertop and watch what happens. The water will instantly freeze before your very eyes. This happens because disturbing the supercooled water provides the energy needed for the water molecules to arrange themselves into a solid structure, which is ice. Evaporation is all around us, but it's often invisible. In this experiment, we're going to make evaporation visible and learn how different factors affect its speed. Grab some bowls, water, and find some spots with varying temperatures and air movement. Pour equal amounts of water into the bowls and place them in different locations. Put one bowl in direct sunlight, one in the shade, one inside near a fan, and one in a cool, still place. Check the water levels in each bowl after a few hours and again the next day. You'll notice that the water level decreases at different rates depending on the location. The bowl in direct sunlight will evaporate the fastest, followed by the one near the fan. This is because heat and air movement speed up evaporation. Ever wondered how clouds are made? Well, get ready to create your own cloud in a jar and witness the magic of condensation. For this experiment, you'll need a jar, hot water, ice cubes, a lid, and some aerosol hairspray, optional. Pour hot water into the jar, filling it about one-third full. Quickly cover the jar with the lid, placing the ice cubes on top. The hot water creates water vapor, which rises inside the jar. As the water vapor reaches the cold air near the ice cubes, it condenses into tiny water droplets, forming a cloud. You can enhance your cloud by spraying a little hairspray into the jar before adding the ice. The hairspray particles act as condensation nuclei, providing surfaces for the water vapor to condense on. It's like having a tiny piece of the sky right in your hands. Prepare to be amazed by the power of air pressure with an expanding marshmallow. You'll need a large marshmallow, a plastic syringe, and clear plastic tubing. Insert the marshmallow into the syringe, pushing it to the bottom. Attach the tubing. Hold the syringe upright and pull the plunger. Watch the marshmallow expand. You're creating a vacuum. Less air pressure inside, more outside. 
the marshmallow expands, puffing up like a balloon. Push the plunger back and it shrinks back. Condensation is a key part of the water cycle, and you can observe it firsthand with this simple experiment. All you need is a glass cup, some ice water, and a keen eye for detail. Fill the glass cup with ice water. Let it sit for a few minutes and watch what happens on the outside of the cup. You'll notice tiny water droplets forming on the surface of the glass. Where did these water droplets come from? The answer is condensation. The cold surface of the glass cools the air around it. The air contains water vapor, which is invisible water in its gas form. As the air cools, the water vapor condenses into liquid water droplets, forming on the cold surface of the glass. It's a simple yet effective way to see the water cycle in action right before your eyes. Not all changes are created equal. Some changes can be undone while others are permanent. Let's explore reversible and irreversible changes. Melting ice is reversible. Freeze the water to get ice again. Burning paper is irreversible. It turns to ash and smoke. Understanding these changes helps us understand the world. Get ready for a classic science experiment that demonstrates the power of air. With a candle, a glass, and water, we'll reveal air's role in combustion. Fill a plate with water. Light a candle in the center. Lower a glass over the candle. The flame will go out. Watch the water rise inside the glass. Thanks for joining us on this scientific adventure. We've explored the fascinating world of states of matter, from expanding gases to supercooled liquids and everything in between. Remember, science is everywhere, and there's always something new to discover. Which experiment was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing about your scientific adventures. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more fun and educational videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to School Subjects Online. We're always cooking up exciting new experiments and explorations. Until next time, keep those curious minds buzzing.